What is going on everyone? Today we are back in another tiny home, but this time we're in the beautiful state of Vermont in a luxury tiny house that is right off the side of the road. The house looks like a trailer that they converted into a tiny house. And I found out this is actually street legal. So you can move this thing anywhere if you wanted to. And though it is small, looks can be deceiving because inside this tiny house are enough amenities for a luxury vacation in the Green Mountain State. Let's check it out. So today we are at a tiny house. When you first arrive on the property, you'll see signs all over the place, so you really can't miss it. And eventually you'll arrive at your stay with the beautiful view of the forest in front of you. So let's get right into it this time and head inside and see what we have in here. Let's go. Stepping into this house feels like you're in another world completely. And I think the designers hit the money on the color scheme because everything is matching and coordinated. And it just seems so small on the outside, but inside it feels so big. Remember, I'm 6'4". Okay, so that's like six boxes of Frosted Flakes. But I don't feel cramped at all in this house. And I feel like a lot of that is because of the large ceiling. To the right, you have a giant window facing the road. And it's actually the only window in the property that isn't frosted. And of course, when you need your privacy, you can just pull down the shade and hide yourself from the world. In the living room, you have this desk with two chairs underneath in a sort of bar styled orientation and to your left you'll see a really comfortable leather couch and a wooden coffee table and again props to the interior designer because everything is matching everything looks really nice there are two heaters here as well both electric but one a little bit more attractive than the other I'm sorry, buddy. You have a 20 inch TV that you can use when you want to sit down and relax and watch your favorite show me Storage for all your bags are conveniently placed underneath the stairs, and those stairs lead up to your bedroom. Now, remember what I said about being tall? Well, you need to be 3'3 to be able to stand under here comfortably. But since, like me, you are probably only one box tall horizontally, you should fit in here just fine. And what you'll be sleeping on is a queen size bed with two large windows on either side. And you also have a few cubbies for some extra space if you really need it. Now the kitchen in this property is so impressive. They found a way to keep all of the essentials in one place without wasting space. On the bottom, we have some bluish cabinetry and the biggest microwave I've ever seen. And on the wooden countertop, you have your two burner gas stove and your knives, your salt and pepper, your sink, really anything you need to cook a meal. Plates, pots, and pans are either stored on the shelf above or in the cabinets below. And on the other side, you have your mini fridge with a toaster oven and not just one, but two coffee makers. And again, HelloFresh saved the day. And my appetite. The bathroom in this property is another testament to the optimization of tiny homes. It is separated from the rest of the house by a barn door that slides. Maybe a common theme, we've seen this before. On the right side, you have a luxurious walk-in tiled shower, as they say in the description. And they weren't lying. And they also weren't lying about the flushing toilet either. I would hope so. You have a gorgeous marble vanity with all of your towels and things on the shelf to the right. And then you have a washer and dryer. What? This is probably what I was expecting the least coming to a tiny home. And it was so convenient because I ended up using it. So thank you for helping me keep my laundry fresh. When we take a look outside the property, we can really see how small this home is. You have a porch outside with ad Adirondack, Adirondack chairs and a Brio fire pit. There is no way I'm pronouncing this right. They have free firewood that you can use for your fire pit. And one of the coolest features, especially at night, are the string lights that you can control with this little button thing, which will add to the ambiance of your stay. And if the toaster oven just wasn't enough for you, then you can use their grill outside, which I still can't use, maybe one day. Now this house might be tiny, but the world is big. So what is there to do? They leave a guide with a bunch of cool things around the area that you can do. This includes food spots, hiking trails, kayaking, you name it. I met the owner of the property and he showed me a small trail that actually brings you right down to the river and see the beautiful views of their private land. Vermont is a beautiful place. If you do want to stay inside, conveniently placed in the stairs are games you can play. Somehow I never seem to win. Overall though, I'd say this property is perfect for two. And you can even bring a dog if you'd like. If you do want to stay at this property, I will be leaving the link in the description. And if you want to see more unique stays, then check out my treehouse video last week. But regardless of what you do, have fun, see the world, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.